Right, Tyler is dressed beautifully in black today because we're working on a black car. This is commitment. It's, it's fantastic. Right, um, Tyler is going to show you how to take off various bits of the front of your car here. So we're on the Range Rover L405. So we are going to take off the cover to expose the fuse box. But you'll see it's kind of rubbish to get in to the fuse box. So we wanted to sort of get right in there. So... We then ended up taking off this cowling along here. And to do that, you have to take off your wiper arm. So we're going to take off all of this front bit here. You can do it and just give everything a good clean and stuff. Not that we did, but right. So let's show you this. Um, right, what's under here? The brake reservoir's under here, isn't it? Yeah. So if you want to check your brake fluid reservoir. Now, Tyler's colored these little screw things in orange. Now... When you take these out, I, I did it, didn't I? I one, one's disappeared down there. So there you go, Tyler. In fact, let's, uh, you're in the middle of the light there. Let's swap sides. Right, and then if you can just show how those, they just they sort twist. of, they sort of a bit rubbish, aren't they? They sort of yeah. twist and then they sort of pull up. Sometimes you need to get underneath them because you can get underneath those two and just give them a little tickle. Um, so they're a sort of funny little, and I think you can you can just push them back in. But they always go missing. I've got to get these on the website. They're the same on the Evoque and everything. You see, oh, oh look. Nearly. <laughs> Nearly. They're a bit sort of rubbish, really. Um, but they're obviously supposed to be so you can access them without any tools. Because if you want to check your brake fluid reservoir or you want to replace a the fuse, then you need to be able to do it, really, without having a load of tools on you. So, right, whip that off then, Ty. Let's have a look what's under there. So... No, no, no. That's right. right. That's all right. Right. So we can then take that trim off. Right. Put it out with the four clips. Right. And then let's whip that other one off. Now, I would say we, we've only, we've lost a few. few. But for speed, it helps. Have. Should have four oh. again. Right. So there you go. So in there, you've got some monster connections here for your... um for ECUs and stuff. Um, but your fuse box is sort of here, but you can't really sort of, you can hardly even get the fuse box lid off. You can sort of lift this up and abuse it a little bit. And you can get a little more by removing these little fixings. Yeah, and again, they're, they're sort of rubbishy plastic ones. Now you might unscrew, or the some- The best way to do it is screw it a bit, but then squeeze it from the bottom. Yeah, if you can squeeze it in a moment, it helps the, uh, they're a bit rubbish. Then they just sort of. Oh, we'll leave Tyler. Um, so it, it relies on what I did when I did it was I squeezed these two sides together. Oh, let me reposition. I squeezed those two sides together and unscrewed, and that meant it kept the force on the sort of threaded aspect and allows that bit to pop up. That one not having it, Tyler. No, but he will. He will. Like so we've got four of those along there, right? Yeah. Go That's it. They almost sort of pop out when you get them. Right, go on. Go on, face your demons, Tyler. <laughs> Don't let him win. I'll get him out and then I'm losing the engine. He stabbed anyway. himself with a screwdriver there. Go on, go on, go on. There he goes. Right. So you would, you would hope that having all those off and that... So what... Lift that up, Tyler. How much liftiness does that give us? <laughs> it gives us a bit more, doesn't it? So you can sort of get under there. To be fair, you could prop that up and get into that fuse box properly now. Um, but we wanted we wanted even more. Now the problem becomes comes now on this side. It's not too bad actually. That yeah. that wiper there isn't restricting it. But if I go and have a look, you will see that the wiper the wiper arm does go through this. So if you want to get this panel off properly and have a proper job. You have got to take off your wiper arms. So go on then, Tyler. Let's have the wiper arms off as well. There's a little plastic cap yeah. you got. You might be better off, that's it. There we go. I don't know if they've got any particular clip technology on them. That's a little clip there. And they're both the same. For both yeah. wipers, they're both the same, aren't they, Tyler? Oh, there we go. Right. Um... And then we've got to take off this. 15 mil. 15 mil. You pulled off my rubber trim now, Tyler. We've got to, we've got to show in, everyone the rubber trim. It was in the way. Saga. 
So that rubber trim that Tyler's pulled off is a pain in the eye. Pain in the butt to. Uh, it's easy to come off though, but it's a pain to get back on properly. There we go. And what size socket are we on there, Tyler? 15. 15. Did you say that earlier? Yeah. Was I just away with the fairies? Right, you don't have to be too confident. Just to reiterate, it is a 15. It is a 15. Right. So now we've got to get the wiper arms off. So they weren't too bad actually. We've had these off already. Something we've done that we've forgotten about that's very useful because I nearly messed up when I put them back on. We put masking tape for where they're located. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So when you, because they're on a sort of spline, we put a yeah. bit of masking tape along the top of the window so that we got them in the right place. Because otherwise you end up going too far over your windscreen pillar this way. And that, that was helpful, was it, when you put them back on? Yeah, because yeah. I put them back on wrong and then realised. Relieve tension. Yeah, relieve the sort of spring tension. Is it wiggle? Is it just wiggle it? There you go. Thread out. And then, well, let me put these bits down. So on there, you've got a conic, you've got a, a cone in here. There's a conical fitting, and I'll show you the fitting on the, and it bites in. It's got splines on it, and it bites in. So that's the wiper arm. Les deux. There you go. And that's what is going over there. It's a conical and it's splined. It's got little spliny bits. And now we should be in a position, shouldn't we, Tyler? Rip it and rip it. To, to, to pull all that off. Now, when we took it off, it did seem to be a little bit tighter because it has got this little edge on it here. And that little edge, I think, is supposed to sort of dock into this rubbery trim yeah there's a little gap right in the middle of it there that it's supposed to grip into so you may have to pull it off and when you put it in right there's also some yeah now i don't think that's double-sided i think that's single-sided but it's anti-vibration tape yeah right but good spot tyler right <laughs> then right now you've got to show them this bit of trim that's a nightmare tyler so on the top of here you've got this bit of rubbery trim now you've got these little clips. Now if you look at the side there, there's a little sort of ledge. Now we battled to try and push it on, but the only way, because that's, yeah, well, and that's such the such little, such little. The only way we we actually had to slide it on from one end and slide it all the way along. Tyler's going to sort of show you how. Yeah, you have to sort of slide it over it, and you, with a bit of. That's the principle. You may have to put a bit of WD-40 or something inside and slide it on. It takes two of you. Um, we're going to have to do that. Right and that's, that is a little bit fiddly. Right. And then you can get a really good access to the fuse box. So if you're doing anything with the fuses for more than two minutes, you can then remove the... Spring a little clip on the end. Spring a little clip. And then you can get nice full access to everything in there so there we go that's how to remove the under windscreen cowl on your range rover l405